Hello all, welcome to another edition of King Joe's Kingdom of Collectibles. Uh, this is a eBay pick, eBay came, stuff I ordered from eBay, but I'm not in a good mood. Uh, woke up, I had to wait till 11 o'clock to order something online that was a limited edition. Now, they had pre-sales, the people who guessed whatever the hell password was for Loki Charms. Uh, they did a, a special limited edition box for Lucky Charms. And, uh, you know, what always bothers me when they do these limited edition and they have these pre-sales, this is like well, the same thing what they did with me a long time ago when a special Rush concert was around and I wanted to go and it was $75 for tickets and I think I wasn't, I wasn't, in the, you know, for pre-sale and I waited the, wait the day. That it, I, I was up at 11. As soon as 11 o'clock I hit, sold out of the Loki charm. Same thing with the Rush concert. Now I go on eBay and now the retail price... They, these all these four dollars and ninety nine cents a box of cereal, and then it was like three three dollars three something because it said it was like eight dollars a box. Lo and behold, not one box is below eighty dollars. Now they just went. Just remember, they went on sale at eleven o'clock. It is now my time. Eleven thirty within a half an hour, right? They're on eBay. And some people want as high as $250 for a box. And you go on some of these people, and they have quantity that they have. Oh, quantity. I have eight for sale. I have nine for sale. This is the exact same principle I tell you guys about how they create the scarcity, and then they, they set the price. They, they drive up the price. And there's actually Yahoo's out there that are giving them $75, $80 a box. Yahoo's? Now, what bothers me is the company that let these people buy that many of them. When they have a limited number of 3,500 boxes, it should be one, maybe two per customer. I mean, for me to go there at 11 o'clock and go to their website and them having sold out when they were supposed to be 11 o'clock for people, that's that's a problem. Yeah. Now, what I'm hoping that will happen that does, I hope in General Mills is like, you know what, I'm, we're going to mass produce these now. Don't forget my dinosaur. Because unless those boxes are numbered... They ain't gonna. They ain't gonna be worth it. And I'm sick. I am sick of these freaking greedy b a s t a r d s s. No, you can say Yahoo. Yeah, those Yahoos. I'm just really tired of it because this this is just goes to show you how they create the shortage. They control the prices. Yahoos. And my wife was like, "Oh, they're smart." I'm like, "No." I said, "I hope to hell that." They, they, most of them don't get what they want. I'm like, I can see, you know, tripling maybe, you know, but 10 times what you paid, you know, some people 200 times, you know. I mean, it's like ridiculous. So that's something that I won't get. And I was there at 11 o'clock. In fact, I was there like 10 games? minutes before 11. I kept hitting the thing, refresh, refresh, refresh. So are you going to shoot those games? And, well, yeah, I got my, here, here's what I got today. Why did you get Blueprint? Uh, what do you see? Blueprint. I'll, I'll show you. Right down here. Wow, he's amazing. He actually saw it and read it. Yes. That's blueprint. Okay, yeah, and we have it. Yeah, I know. Okay, I got some Atari games. I got... These are all CBS games for the Atari 26. I got Wizard of War. That? Solar Fox. And Blueprint. Blueprint, which I already have, but this cartridge might be in better shape. Mountain King. Mountain King. Omega Race. Omega Race. And Gorf. We are the Gorfian Invaders. You already have that. And I got pra Practical Intelligence Quotient 2. PQ2 for the PSP. And I got a Casper the Friendly Ghost Game. Is this a board game? Yes, it's a board game. It's sort of like Porcheesy. What's Porcheesy? It's a game. Mm. So. We still have to try out that. But, yeah. I'm just like... Uh, I'm like, you know... Shoot my dinosaurs! What, 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 you can't do nothing. You know, what? it's like... Some Last night I was I was talking to my buddy Lou. He sent me stuff because he knows I like Space 1999, but Look, I actually dinosaurs. can't see the. Okay, they don't want to see the dinosaurs. Hey, I hate Ooh. when you put stuff. You put it like in front of. You need boundary issues. 
But uh, we were going over to Space 1999 stuff, and uh, he was sending me. Some of it was nice. There's a place called uh, 16, 1612 that make stuff oh, and die cast. And it's, it's quite pricey. And I found out, too, that the company that I love to hate, or I should say I hate to love or whatever, uh, Eagle Moss is coming out with Eagle Space 1999 stuff. I was Eagle Moss. Little, and... I'm like this. I'm disenfranch. I'm disenfranchised with them because, you know, my ongoing strife with the uh, Batman automobiles, the Marvel chess set, and the Star Trek starships. Pop, pop. You know, they have no problem taking money out of my account like willy nilly. Like you know, never. You know, my once my once a month subscription. You know, never know when they're gonna come out. Never know when they're gonna take the money out. They just do, and it's like wow. And like I said, they skipped me issues. I'm I'm still like I said, I'm still four Batmobiles short. No 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 thing I'm from ever gonna get them. I'm sixteen ch uh, chess pieces short for the Marvel chess set. Don't know when they're gonna. And they they actually owe me a replacement Craven. Now that's been going on seven months and I haven't got it. Um. And the Star Trek starships. I mean, I made it to uh, like. I'll wait to almost 100 before they started skipping me issues there. So at least I have the first 100, and I don't see any end in sight in the Star Trek Starship. And I am not going to end up getting the Discovery or the Expanded Universe of Star Trek, because it's just like crazy. Because you figure, they're already at the 175 ships just for the basic Star Trek Starship collection. And then they have specials, which are, I think, in the 20s. And I think I have the first eight. And I haven't got one of them in over a year. And usually the specials were like every four months you would get three a year. It's like, uh, you know, what are you going to do? And, I, and they had a lot of good stuff. Like I wanted to do the Battlestar Galactica because of all the problems I had. Nope. I want to do the collectible uh, Build-A-Car. Uh, but I wouldn't do that because they already skipped me. I'm already missing stuff for three three series I got for them that I have a subscription for. And I wasn't going to, I'm not going to get uh, the Ectomobile subscription because if they don't send you a piece, you don't have a car. I mean, any rational, intelligent person would only be like, okay, you know, if this company's doing this to you, why give them more money? Why, you know, I'm sort of stuck having a deal with them because I already have so much stuff by them. I'm, I'm sort of stuck stay, staying with this collection like i said i only need four more automobiles and then one one collector line is done and the sad thing is i've picked up most of them the ones that they did short me on ebay just biding my time waiting for the prices to go where i where, where i want to pay them because a lot of people on ebay want double what it normally goes for uh like i said i need the special number two of the bat tank well they wouldn't do oh, we would know when and I was supposed to receive that like five or six years ago. Um, pop, pop. And when they switched over from me. UK to America, well, we we're not we're not you know, we. Pop, pop. What, Keegan? Can we play this game? No, not yet. The one lady got really nasty to me. I mean, really nasty. Well, you don't deserve to have. Basically, she told me I didn't deserve to have. The special that it's not guaranteed to me. I'm like, well, it should be because I subscribe to it and I subscribe to the specials. And I told her, I said, if I wasn't going to get the whole set, why do I want these? Well, to this day, I've been a member of Eagle Moss subscriptions now for a decade, and they still I don't get my emails answered. I send them. I actually wish I could put a class action lawsuit against them. Because it's a breach of contract, and it's basically, you know, I can't be the only one that this is happening to. I would love to know if anybody else has the same problem I do. Because, you know, you have people that Papa. subscribe. They should be guaranteed the Papa, product the that they signed up game. for. And I am not. I haven't been. And I would like to finish off, you know, get my last four automobiles and be done with automobiles. Get the last 16 X-Men pieces uh, for the X-Men. No, it's actually the Spider-Man chest because I have the Marvel and I have the X-Men set done. It's just that now I'm on Spider-Man. And like I said, I'm 16 pieces short for Spider-Man. I have half of it. And the sad thing is I want to do 
I want to do the, the, the uh, Batman slash DC line. I want to do the DC figures. I want to do the Ecto. Nope. I want to do Battlestar Galactica. I also wanted to buy some of the Doctor Who stuff they had. Well, pop, pop. because of all the problems I've had with the other three, pop, pop. they shorted out on f having a, a subscriber for four more lines. So, you know, right there, they lost just on me thousands of dollars worth of business. Pop, pop. And I'm sure they don't give a crap. See, impatient. That's how all kids are. And the sad thing is, when I start playing these games with him, he'll be like, if he starts losing, he don't want to play. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm disgusted this morning and upset. Because I was like, oh, I just, want, I just wanted one box. One box. Eight dollars. The wife told me that's all I was thought I was alone. Can't go over to him. Can't, can't spend them. But like, and I just amazed at the greed and the. Uh, I mean, I, I you know, if you, like I said, you're gonna do something that is limited edition. and You're gonna make it available to the public. No more than two per person. Pop up. I mean, you get ten guys that you know or. You get three hundred. No, there's a three thousand. You get three hundred people that buy ten boxes. There, there's your whole limited edition run. Gone. Bye. Gone. Bye. So you know. They're gone. Bye. And that's exactly what happened. I mean, you go on eBay. Pretty much every one of them probably that was sold is probably up on eBay. It's crazy. Because I even went on. And I was like, wow. And there's actually people, they actually, some people just put them up and bid, and then people are bidding. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but $80, $90 for a box of cereal. Uh, I I wouldn't even pay that for boxes of cereals that go from, like, whenever they created cardboard boxes for cereal. I mean, you know, you buy stuff for age, how old it is, you know, the nostalgia. This this stuff is, it's, it's not even, like I said, not even half hour old. And, oh, wow, it's... Because they made the shortage, and they're controlling. They're controlling the price. And people are people are not as far as I'm concerned. People who have money don't give a crap. That's the truth. Because they have the money to do it. The people who actually care about what they spend and who don't make a lot of money. Because people think I'm rich, and people don't understand that I've been collecting since I was 15 years old. I'm going to be 51 next week. I Your didn't pay. On Tuesday. Yeah, my birthday's next Tuesday. Yes. Now, I've been collecting for a very long time, and I've, I have still stuff from when I was a kid. People, oh, you, yeah, you see the price nowadays, Papa, we but you don't realize that? that I only paid my parents only bought me those Star Wars figures, and they paid three dollars. Uh, I pretty much paid cover price for a lot of the comic books I own, right? You know, I, I, I go to a, a comic book store, a baseball card shop, and I got Iron Man 1 through 5 for 50 bucks. You know, back, that was, God, 15, 20 years ago. Now, you, you look at all that stuff, and you're like, okay, I didn't pay a couple hundred dollars. In fact, the most I ever paid for a book, I only paid over $100 for two comics. In, in, well, not back, I paid a couple hundred dollars for a book recently, but... Back until I, I, before I got married, I only spent 125 twice. Green Lantern number one, Showcase 24. They were the only, they were the two most expensive books I ever bought. I wish I could get, you know, Showcase 22, but I couldn't. Papa, but I also bought them video. decades ago. We're going to end this video. Stop. But, where was I? Because he has to keep, and I'm not playing a board game with you because I told you about your pesting. You get to do stuff, you know, we had a talk with his teacher yesterday. And they were saying that you can't give in to when they do that because it just strengthens the bond where, you know, they get what they want. They'll keep doing it. So, you know, now I'm not, I'm not even probably going to play a board game. You know, if you behave and it'd be good, then I'll play a board game with you later. You got to learn when we're doing stuff, Keegan. That's what we're, you know, we're going to do. 
not always what you want. I took them shopping last night, too, because if you saw my last haul, I got a record album that was autographed, so I wanted to buy a holder. I got a toy. Yeah, and he bought a plesiosaurus. I got him one, because he was pretty good yesterday. Papa, why is this thing? And he helped me bring all the groceries in the house, so he, that was his reward. He got it after that was all done. Why do you... I have three sink toys. This one, I, you have to use a hand to put down, and this one sinks by itself. Yeah, well, they're they're not really made to be playing in the tub, but he, he put them in the he brought them in the tub to play in water or the swimming pool outside. Yeah. But yeah, I'm like really, really, really like. Let's just like when I want to go see Rush. It was seventy five dollars, and then when I went to the scalpers an hour later, looking trying to find tickets, it was four hundred. Then I got told, <sighs> but you're not a fan. I'm like, back to the whole story about, I'm, going up I'm on workman's comp, I'm on disability. And I've been that way, and I'm probably going to be that, I'm probably going to end up having to go on disability retirement, because I cannot work an eight-hour day, my back will not let me, I can't even play basketball, I, I've, ever since my injury, I, I chunked up, I'm trying to lose weight, I've lost 60 pounds in the last two years, but still, it's hard. I can't do a lot of stuff. If you look at my videos over the time span, it took me years to get the attic finished, which would have probably only taken me if my back was fine and I, my buddies came down. Probably would only took me a day, a day and a half, two days to finish my attic instead of a year. Um, you know, I get, I got. Um, Reen by what was a friend, but now he's an enemy. I don't even want to bother with him. He got mad because, oh, my tax money's paying. I'm like, I paid into that. From every job I worked since I was 14 till I got hurt. And I've been told by multiple doctors, unless there's a medical breakthrough, I'll be in pain the rest of my life. And it bothers me because I have some good, I have some decent days and I have some really bad days. Most of the time, I have very rough nights sleeping. I wake up multiple times a night with pain going down in my legs. And since the injury, because I gained the weight, I ended up, I have a cholesterol problem. I have di a diabetic problem and high blood pressure. And um, I am very frugal with my money. And anybody who knows, who watches my videos knows that I, I will not buy something like the Loki thing. I will not buy one now. If I can't get one for less than ten dollars, I won't buy the box. Because the retail price was four ninety nine, eight dollars after shipping, and I don't care what. Even if I have to buy wait years down the road, I wait. I will wait years down the road because there will be somebody selling it cheaper years down the road. Because everything new ends up getting boxed and put away or displayed. That's why never be in a hurry to buy anything. The reason why you see this lot of games. Now, if I went and bought these individually, I would have paid five times what I bought this for. And same thing with this game. I mean, less than ten bucks. I had this. I actually have the game. I needed the booklet and the artwork for it. And I went on e, you know, eBay, and I would have paid just as much for the booklet and artwork. So just like buy another game, take the other game, sell for a buck or two, get at least something back for it, you know. And that that's exactly when I bought the Casper game because the guy knocked twenty five percent off of it. So. I was like, yeah, it's that's an older game. I like, I always like Casper as as a, as a child. It'll go into with my Mighty Mouse game. And it's a game that I can play with Keegan or Gigi when she gets older and doesn't become destructive and want to rip paper apart. Um, but I have a lot of work to do that's just sitting here. I have stuff that I have to bring up to the attic, but it's just too heavy. I have to ask my daughter, and my daughter's like, I will. Uh, like my my last couple of videos of comic book hauls. I have a short box of comics I picked up. I asked her to take it up in the attic for me. So I can slide it when I'm up there. It's just that lifting it. It's bad enough I had to bring the boxes in. 
I remember the time I went to Buffalo, I actually had, my wife was watching uh, some kids for uh, extra cash. So she was like babysitting. I actually paid the kid comic books to load up my comic book boxes in my van. And when I came back, I paid him comic books to unload them in my van. Uh, it saved my back. Uh, I'm like, you know, pretty much, that's, that's the sad thing. If my back did not bother me, my downstairs would be finished. I'd have my deck apart. That I, I had uh, my insurance company was watching me. I found out, and then within twelve days they got like three. They got a picture of me picking up the baby, and I'm like, well, I had no choice but to do it because I couldn't leave her home because there was nobody here to watch her. She's three at the time. Now she's four. Yeah, because she'll be going to preschool, and oh, you, you because. And like uh, running the kid back and forth from day to, to uh, preschool is not me being active. Me being active is if I'm able to play basketball. Can't do that. Can I bowl? Nope. I, I can't. I can't bowl. Uh, I'm sure as hell can't can't golf because of my back. Uh, I can't. You know. But what bothers me too is the federal government. After looking at all my medical records and all the operations I had, they deem me disabled. The state doesn't. The state has me partially disabled. Yeah, I may be able to walk, but I, I, when I go shopping, I don't stay out long. I really don't. Uh, an hour, maybe two, come back home, lay down. Uh, if the stuff, if I have stuff that has to be freezer or refrigerated, I bring that stuff in and put it. Anything else, if my back's bothering me. It gets it gets weighted till my daughter comes home or my wife or, or I get help bringing the stuff in. But it's like yeah, I'm in a very like melancholy mood this morning, really upset and ticked off because everything ends up being regulated by a certain few, and they're usually people that have you know buku money. You know, they're people that own stores. They, they're like, and I like. I wish these companies would actually start doing how I keep saying. Hey, you make twelve figures. A case is twenty four. We put two figures in each case. They go on the shelves. Instead of me going to Walmart and you know, want, the thing Keegan wants a set of Jurassic Park figures. Well, you go on the. There's always a ton of the one figure and none of the others, and that's that's basically all toys now. So. I'm actually getting disillusioned with, all, with with collecting. I haven't. I don't really buy nothing new when it comes to comic books, and I, and I see a lot of my friends on Facebook and people on YouTube constantly posting new shit. I'm like, why? Why are you paying five five dollars to twenty five dollars for new crap? Right? I think to myself, when you can buy so much older stuff that probably hold their value better, because I'm tired. Like you know, going like when I go five and below, I buy a pack of comic books for four or five dollars and. Voila, there's new issues that are there. There's all the stuff, in, you know, Ollie's, you know, hardcovers, trades, and then you have packs of 10 comic books. Most of that stuff, they make a ton of it. Uh, I just, I just, you know, I'm actually thinking about cutting all my ties with my, with my collection. Because I've been, just the way the market is, and I'm just fed up with, People that haven't been collecting as long as I, with, with oh, they know everything. I don't know everything, but I do know I have sensible, like a lot of the comic book dealers too. Any type of any type of business market you work in, you you make you're supposed to make like about twenty percent of your on your money. That was basically what I was taught in business when I, when I took all my business classes in college, and in high school. I see people. They, they don't want to make 20. They will, they want to become million, millionaires. You know, they want to be like, you, if you buy something for a dollar, you sell it for a buck and a half. That's, that's good. Okay. But some of these people buy something for a dollar and they want 10 for it. Now, the thing too, is if you have a store or a business, stuff that just sits there on the shelf or sits there doesn't do you any good. It, all it does is take up space, and that's all it does. It's space that you can use for other stuff. Like a lot of comic book stores, they don't they don't understand that because they see 
oh well this is just gonna keep this stuff so just keep going up in price yeah it's gonna keep going up in price but if nobody's buying it it's doing you no good like when I started collecting them I could have picked up amazing Ma fantasy uh, 15 for a thousand dollars well I didn't have a thousand dollars back then and I sure still don't have 15 grand now but you don't see it selling you know very few people who's got fifteen thousand dollars to shell off for a comic book if I had to choose $15,000 for a comic book or buy a car, I'm going to buy a car because my wife needs one. I don't need, I don't need 15, and plus I don't have it. You know, a lot of the collecting mentality is I got to keep up with the Joneses. And a lot of books that were like, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy, that was a cheap thing. First appearance around $5 for decades. All of a sudden, you know, he's in a movie up the thing oh and this one morbius is going to be a movie <whistles> moon knight <whistles> you know i i just and the changing of their first appearances too is is you know is ridiculous you know hulk 180 that 181 you know oh well it's not his it's just his okay i can't no he's not he's falling up and he speaks that's his first appearance oh it's full the the wording, because when I started collecting, Hulk 180 was the one you wanted. Hulk 181 was, now it's like, oh, I guess because more people had a Hulk 181, so now they want that book to be more valuable. So whatever. Because it's funny, because I have Hulk 180, and I have 182. I don't have 181. No. What, Alice? Can you take me home? Yes, I'll take you home. But yeah. Today was not a good day for the king to get just one box of cereal. And uh, it just brought back a lot. You know, I'm like, that's why I get disillusioned with collecting. Because of greed. And people, like, I know there's be a lot of backlash on me from this video. But you know what? It's common sense, though. If you're going to make something, if you're going to make it a limited edition... You should limit the quantity you're selling to the thing and give everybody a chance to get it. I can see if I, you know, bought... Because like when uh, the Batman Bank, the Batman cereal came out in like 88, I bought two boxes. Actually, I bought three over the years. And I still have my box for my collection, but I sold the other two boxes. And I sold them for what pretty much they were going for. I didn't jack the price up. Uh, the... The one box I sold, I, I, when they first came out, I sold them like within a year. I, I doubled my money. But then the box kept going up, 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 up. And it was around 30 some dollars because of the collectible plastic bank. And then it was like $35. And I sold one box for $35. So, you know, I didn't astronomically sell it. Over the course of 20 years... I sold them and I made money on them, but not like it is now. Like half an hour after sale, oh, I want two hundred fifty dollars for a box of cereal that I paid eight dollars for. If you wait a couple years, that box might end up being worth forty dollars, probably not hundreds. That what these people want, because right now they bought it all. There's none. That's the same thing with these all these limited, you know, all these. Um, Variant variants of comics. Certain few buy them all up at the comic book shops. Oh, we're sold out. Oh, I got one in. And they'll put like they'll sit there and they'll do they'll do that. And they don't, nobody can tell me they don't do that. They do that. Because that's greedy and smart. But that's the thing. Greed. When the seven deadly sins. And I'm sure there are people out there that, that most people out there who buy comic books ain't don't do it for the love of comics. What, Lex? Are you doing a video? Yes, I'm doing a video. So you're gonna come and you're gonna be uh, complain about Keegan? Yeah, he went outside with his bippy. Uh, when I was literally my... off getting off the bus too. Wow, that's nice. We got a naked kid running around with his winky hanging out. And he's been told about that. When he gets stressed, he gets stressed. Thank you for telling me. No one was outside with him either. Yeah, he's also been told about go running outside by himself. I uh, him. Yeah, I...
literally right in front of everyone. But yeah, okay, thank you, Lex. Yeah. Yeah, I I may be in pain, but I have mental anguish at my house a lot. One of the things I actually did enjoy, I, I do, like I said, now I'm getting to, was my, was collecting. What I've been doing now is video games. I just don't have the the patience or the tolerance for comics and stuff anymore because of how the market is. Toys, like that Plesiosaurus that I bought Keegan. That was the only one that was on the shelf. And he was like, oh, I want it, I want it. I'm like, okay. Considering that all the other Jurassic Park figures that came out were gone. And can you pick it out for me, please? And and if you know me and you've been watching me for years, I'm very I am frugal with my money. Nobody can tell me I'm not. You watch my haul videos, I get a lot of books for a dollar or under. I same thing with board, you know, on anything everything I buy. The only thing I collect is shoes. You yeah, you like to put it right from you collect more than shoes. You have Japanese anime. Yeah, but that is yeah, collecting about them. Yeah, well, you read them, but you still save them. Yeah, I'm trying I got more to... shoes than books, though. Yeah, which is crazy. Oh, She's yeah. buying into this this whole thing with sneakers being worth money. But then, hey, how many of how many of the ones that you don't want have you sold already? That's the key. If you're able to, if you collect shoes and you want to eventually sell them, that's when you can actually say, "Oh yeah, I I I collect shoes and I buy and sell them." At least I sell some of my comics that I have doubled. I have guys waiting for me to drop dead so they can come over and swoop and offer my kid and my wife a, a for, uh Probably not a fortune, probably a rip-off price for my books. That's why if I do pass away, Heritage Auctions, they're going to be the first one to get called. I'm not doing that. What are you going to do then? Tip it, but put our money to go up. Wait for the double or triple. <laughs> She's my daughter. I'm gonna. Well, you're gonna be waiting a very long time to get a lot of money out of a lot of this stuff because, right, things just don't don't go like it does. Yeah, yeah. Used to. I wish it was the '80s. In the 1980s, I'd be able to get rid of my books for, for what I want and boom. Because in the '80s, everybody it was. It seemed like everybody, every comic book dealer was. If the book was ten bucks guide. They got ten bucks guide. Uh, nowadays, if the book books for ten bucks. You sell for five dollars. Hey, you're, you're you're ahead of the game. There's are there are some exceptions because of people that you know. Oh, this is a limited edition, and like I said, they create the shortage. They create the price. So that's how that happens. I got this. So you got a nice pop. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is the first time she's been in a video for a long time. Mm -hmm. She don't ever want to be in my videos or. Do yeah. stuff for me. No. Yeah. Like I said in my long time when I had problems, I said, you know, you do stuff with your kids when you have the chance because there'll be a time when they don't want to bother with you. I want to go to the pool. Well, maybe you can go to the pool. I don't know. I'm not going to the pool. I got stuff to do around the house. And I can't take Gigi, my granddaughter, out because when we were on when we went to um, Ocean City, she was taking other people's stuff. And uh, when you took it off of her, she threw a fit, threw, was throwing stuff. I'm like, and she doesn't learn that she thinks everything is hers. You know what you should do? Create a podcast. That's a 33 minute long video. Yeah, I should do a podcast. I, I, well, I tried doing a live stream the once on, on here and uh, it wouldn't need let computer. me. No, it wouldn't let me. No, you I've, need a computer for a live stream. No, you don't. You can do a live stream on your yeah, phone. Yeah, it bugs out. What do you see? Okay, that's good. Thank you. But yeah. Excuse me. Okay, well, I'm I'm going to go and thank you all for viewing and subscribing. Can you go out? out.